We're back. Are you? Can you see him? There you, you guys are. They're still alive. You guys, this is Waltz. Hopefully, we're ready for tandems. And what we're going to do here is, again, we're in side-by-side -side position, same foot. And as we do this, we're going to show you how it comes out of the pair of spins. So we'll finish one pair of spins, starting with the right foot. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're in side-by-side. -side. From here, what's going to happen is that we step forward on one, one. The man's going to hook behind on two, three, bringing the left hand over the lady's head. Two, three. Now the left foot is free of weight for both the lady and the man to do the tandem turns. Four, five, six, one, two, three. So let's go over the idea. You can review that and figure out how to do that, that transfer. But we're going to start with the lady on this side. So she's on this side and we're on a four, five, six, which is a left foot. Now, the idea of a tandem turn, and here's the way to practice this. Simply start side by side, and remember we want our shoulders as square as they can get. The whole idea is that we both rotate at exactly the same speed, exactly the same torque, so that we get around the same time. If you raise the hand up, and guys, watch her shoulders. You can completely line up with her if you watch her shoulders as you come around. Now, tandems can be done on either side. We happen to be the same height, so it's easy for us to do tandems either on either side. Now, this one on the left side, or on the inside as we do this again, it starts on a four, five, six, which is a left foot, and we rotate through four, five, six. Now, you have to waste a one, two, three to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Now, they can be done on either side, and it's up to you to work out how to get them over to that side. But what, what we're going to do here is to show you that on a one, two, three, the same thing can work. Now, it's always nice in a waltz, depending on what you're doing, to present the lady to the audience. And this is more of a, if you're in competition, we know you're not, you're just doing social dance. But some of the idea is that you, that you want to see the lady on the outside. Well, on a one, two, three, you can do that with the lady on the outside on the right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. The only problem with that is height difference, okay? And really, it just depends on where you are for the movement. If you're, again, as long as you make sure that when the lady's on this outside and you're traveling that direction, that you keep your hand as much over her head or in between you as possible. Don't bring that hand over your own head and pull the lady off, because usually you'll get done and go, why'd you bang into me? <laughs> And it's not her fault, okay? So as we do this, you want to make sure that you keep your hand as much as possible over her head when you make the transition, okay? Now, it's easier on the left side from where we were, and it works out pretty nicely, okay? So from here, and we're on our, um, on our one, two, three, and we're switching the lady to the inside simply because of where we are with the movement. The hand is behind her, so it's rather difficult to bring it over. It doesn't look as comfortable on this side which is why we switch her to the other side. One, two, three, four. Then we have movement there, and she travels so it looks nicer on this side. So you're going through a four, five, six, and again, during that tandem together, four, five, six, one, two, three. There's also an alternating tandem, which goes one way and then the other. We'll just go through it kind of quickly for you, which gives her the turn on the four, five, six, four, five, six, and then coming back the other direction on one, two, three, reversing exactly what you did. One, two, three, four. And those are actually kind of a nice turn. We're going to take this, though, this tandem, into something a little different. We're going to do the left tandem and then go into a butterfly turns and a developé. So as we do this, starting with that left turn, we have four, five, six, one. Now on one, two, three, what we want you to do is just, just waste it. Just do one, two, three for nothing, straight down line of dance. One, two, three. On four, five, six, we're going to bring the lady back over to the right side. So it's kind of interesting, passing back and forth. And so on, on four, five, six, she'll do a left turn, but guide her across the diagonal, and the man will go backwards behind her. So we're here on the left foot. Four, five, six, all the way back over to this side. Okay, so we'll do it one more time for you as you start with that left turn and do a complete left turn just like you're doing a tandem, ladies. Nothing different than a tandem. Four, five, six, one. 
So it's exactly the same as the tandem was, nothing different. Now, we take the lady through back to that side again. Four, five, six, one. Now, on your one, two, three, just do that one, two, three for nothing, but you're gonna set the lady up for the butterfly turns. On one, two, three, as we step forward, we're gonna turn the lady out so she's facing outside line of dance. And as we do this, one, two, usually a lot of people will do a lockstep here, traveling, crossing behind or in front, three, either way. Then on four, five, six, we're on the same foot. She's gonna step down line of dance, so is the man. Four. On five, six, she's gonna do a full turn to her left, bringing both hands up. Five, six. Let's go over that one more time. Coming out of the transition, and we'll just go straight through it. So we're in the last left turn for the lady. And four, five, six, adjust to the front turn. Now, again, some of you will lock behind, some of you will go in front and across. It doesn't matter which way you go, okay? So, as we do this from the one, two, three, we're going to keep going with the butterfly turns. So we have one, two, three. On four, five, six, do your first turn, five, six. On one, two, three, she reverses direction going to her right. One, two, three. Now, as we do this, I want to go over the hand change. And really, when, when people do the butterfly turns, lots of times they just sort of go down. Who cares? Catch. Who cares? Okay, that's all right. And realistically, if you keep your hands up there, it really doesn't matter because the lady knows as she turns, the hands go up, then they go down, <laughs> and they go up. It looks like ballet class. I'm not great at ballet. So as we do this, the idea for her, you can do that, guys. You can keep the hands just straight above her. On a four, five, six, four, five, six, one, two, three, and just keep the hands up with a nice platform. Now, if you want to get a little more technical on it, you'll find that it's easier to transfer down, and I'll use, normally as I step with my left foot, I'll use my left hand to maintain contact because it's above the other hand normally. When I go off of the right foot, I usually use my right hand to maintain contact. So you'll find that, and if you practice this a little bit, if you use the left hand off the left foot and the right hand off the right foot, it drives the correct way and makes it easier to be able to change those hands. However, that works too, just holding the hands up, okay? So those are the butterfly turns. Now we're gonna take the butterfly turns into a developé. Now in the movement that we're doing, a, a developé or a developé as, as we call it in ballet, again, I'm not great at ballet, uh, is a real nice movement where the lady gets to do a leg styling and we do these a lot as you're coming out of the butterfly turns We'll do a couple of them. All right starting with a four five six four five six one two three now on four five six I'm gonna let her turn for, for sake of argument just a half a turn So she's gonna step through on her four five six four five six as she steps back on one, two, three, she'll step back with her right foot. As the man steps forward, one. Now, I had a chance to change feet right there if I wanted to, and I did. I actually just was standing there as she turned out and stepped forward with her on one. She can now on two, three, bring her foot through, and we'll go through devil pain in a second, two, three, and then she's gonna turn to her left, four, five, six, and I have a choice here of starting with my right foot or my left foot. I can do any type of change I want if I haven't moved very far. So we're gonna do that whole pattern and stay on the same footwork. Just so we can go back to a pair of spins or something. So as we're starting on four, five, six, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and it takes you back into pair of spins, for instance. All right, now, the lady doesn't necessarily know that a developé is coming, <laughs> and she might not do anything, okay? This is a, a, a more advanced move. And she might just spin out and go, hi, and who knows where I am, and just keep dancing, okay? So you'll find that you can't really lead this movement. It's not like, developé, developé. They're going to go, what are you talking about? Say, well, it's French for develop something, okay? Uh, let's go over the idea of developé for a second. Dawn, if you'll work through the developé. 
Ladies, when you're stepping back on your right foot, what we want to do is, one, remember that we do want to stride just like we would stride in a waltz. The key to the developé is to develop the whole move from the beginning, hit its peak, and bring it softly back down. So what we want to think of is we want to think of develop from both legs. I've now hit my peak. It develops out. We bring it back down, take our stride, and come back around. So again, real slowly, as we come back on the right foot, one, knee is supporting knee, right knee is bent. It develops up, two, three. We bring it back down on and, stride four, five, six. The key to the whole developé is to keep your feet together. If you could see me from a front angle, when I step back, I bring it straight in and up. One thing we want to stay away from is to step back and to let this foot drift. Drift here. We don't want it to drift back here and kick. We want to shoot it straight up the leg and bring it back out. That was pretty. It's important that you really bring it straight up the leg because some of the ladies we have seen do this movement look sort of like this. Not the most prettiest picture, okay? And you notice that when Dawn does this, as she bends, she does a nice plie as she goes into the movement and comes up through the leg. And then as she turns, she's stepping with her left foot, so she has to turn left. And I bring her back into my right side, and now she's on her right foot on one, and I can be on either foot. I could have switched feet there, and I could do crossed hand turns, and I'm back on my footwork. And then at this point, give her another turn and back, okay? So there's a lot of types of movements that you can do from that. And the developé or developé is a really nice, soft, waltz accent. Again, not the most leadable. 